Guinness pot in a cabbage crap The eye don't want to be paddy trap We'll call it an Irish pub I guess it's that authentic thing though that it came from Ireland <laughs> So today we are going to check out a band called The Rum Jacks and something called The Irish Pub Song. I had never heard of this band until you guys told me about them in comments. That's where I get all my ideas, so be sure to put yours down below. And I was really surprised when I went to add this band to my list that the song has 92 million views. Like, I've never heard of this song. Maybe I'll recognize it when I hear it. But who are the Rum Jacks even? Oh, they're not American. Usually these bands are Irish American. So they are a Celtic punk band, which is what we've also seen from, was it Dropkick Murphy and that other band? Flogging Molly, a Celtic punk band from Sydney, Australia. Now there is a massive diaspora of Irish people in Australia. So actually that makes a lot of sense. Oh. One of the singers in the band has actually moved across to Dropkick Murphys. Dropkick Murphys singer Al Barr was forced to drop off the band's tour to take care of his ailing mother and Riv Keys, who's in this band, stepped in. Okay, let's check her out. Good evening, adults. We interrupt this broadcast. Okay, guys, you know cooking isn't exactly my strong suit, but HelloFresh might just save me from cooking disasters. They're giving me 10 free meals and free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while your subscription is active, score. They send everything pre-proportioned so even I can handle it. All you have to do is follow their simple foolproof recipes. Plus they've got 30 plus recipes a week, so whether you're a master chef or chefily challenged like me, you can handle it. Look at me, I'm actually cooking. America's number one meal kit is not playing around. HelloFresh lets you easily customize your delivery from week to week. I prioritize quick and easy, but you can go for vegetarian, family friendly and more, and everything can be tailored to suit your schedule by adjusting your delivery date. You can even skip a week when you're not able to cook at home. As the seasons change, so do their seasonal menus. And boom, I made this. You too can go from what is this to cooking like a pro. Go to the link in my description, use my QR code and get 10 free meals plus free breakfast for life. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring a portion of this video. On with it. Shallow, we got us an Irish pub. Well, I'll be fucked 
just read upon the holy book The only crack you get is a slap in the air Well, I'll be fucked a lot the first you filthy mug If you drop one more shot, I can't be free So if you didn't know that gesture, in America usually you flip people off with one finger. I'm just showing you for demonstrative purposes. One finger, but if you really, really, really want to be offensive, you flip off with two fingers. But it's always funny because Americans do the peace sign. We do it like this, but it, sometimes you turn it like this and we're like, that's so rude. I very much enjoyed that. I barely could understand some of the lyrics, but I did hear like the word crack, which obviously I love. Crack is a big part of this channel. Heard poke my own in there, which is an Irish phrase, which means kiss my arse. The beginning of it was definitely like a song I would hear in an Irish pub. I love an old trad session that lock in. They're great fun. But the punky part, not so much. It was refreshing. The song is an observational commentary on the fact that there are Irish styled pubs in every part of the world, as well as a protest against what the band saw as the commercialization and inauthentic expression of Irish diaspora culture. That's super interesting. Obviously Irish pubs are something that I go around and review in America. It's one of my favorite types of videos that I make. And there is a wide discrepancy between the ones that feel authentic versus the ones that don't. And I would say the biggest thing is not the decor, but the vibe. So I'm guessing these lads are actually from Ireland, right? Because those were some thick Irish accents. Rumjack's frontman, Frankie McLaughlin, explains, I was born in Scotland. <gasps> I came out here very young, but have been back and forward throughout my life. From an Irish background, there was Irish exposure to all the good stuff, the music, the humor, and the characters. So, Maybe that explains, does he have a bit of a mixed accent? That might be why I couldn't fully understand him. He said of the song, I had a version of that song in a recording I made for myself and it actually sprung from an Irish friend of mine that said to me, listen, there's this great new place opening nearby and there's opening night is tomorrow. Let's go check it out. They'd advertised that they had taken a real pub from Dublin that had closed. They had dismantled it carefully and shipped it to here in Sydney to be reconstructed. It. That's absolutely freaking wild to me that people would go to that length for an authentic Irish pub experience. Like, one would presume you have the same construction apparatus in the States. I guess it's that authentic thing though that it came from Ireland. We went along and first of all, we were refused entry to do with the dress code. So that soured the relationship from the start. Yeah, there's no dress code in an Irish pub. Irish clubs, sure. Irish bars, maybe. But Irish pubs, you can go in in your tracksuit, you can go in in your runners. It was a dodgy place that turned into a nightmarish neon wash nightclub most nights. Yeah, that's not Irish pub. I was in there with some laborers and some contractors. We had been rained off a job, they were all Irish. And there were a couple of older people sitting in there having their lunch and they loved that we were singing the old Irish pub songs. It was a rainy day, the fire was going, there were warm meals, and then we were warned by the staff, stop or you will be tossed out. And eventually we were given the boot and I thought, right, that's magic. They're kicking Irish men out of an Irish pub for being Irish. Like I would think if you're gonna run an Irish pub, you'd wanna know what the heart of an Irish pub is and spontaneous music playing is the best part of an Irish pub. Like some places, unless there's like a session set up, it just happens spontaneously and it is a really lovely thing when it happens. So I, I understand. That is super interesting. I am curious to know more about the Rum Jacks and more of their story because I do respect the meaning behind that song. Like what an experience, not nice, not nice. Thank you so much guys. That's it for this, see you on this side, bye.